Hello, welcome back for another YouTube video from the SMMP Reviews team. I'm Brittany, I'm a family nurse practitioner, and today we are going to review some of the basics of skin cancer. Skin cancer is the most common type of cancer overall, so it is a topic that you are very likely to see on your exams and in clinical practice. We will briefly review a couple types of skin cancer in this video, but for a more in-depth review, definitely check out our review courses. Let's start off with talking about some of the risk factors for skin cancer. Now, while there are factors that can put someone at higher risk, I want to be clear that anyone can develop skin cancer. Characteristics that can put someone at higher risk include light skin, skin that burns, freckles, or reddens easily, light hair color, a large number of moles, family history of skin cancer, and increased age. Those who have frequent sun exposure, no matter their physical characteristics, are also at higher risk. There are many things a patient can do to decrease risk. Sun exposure is the biggest factor, so it's important to promote sunscreen and appropriate clothing, and indoor tanning should also be avoided. So basal cell carcinoma is the most common type of skin cancer. What are some of the characteristics that help us recognize this type of cancer? It can be waxy, pearly looking, or raised. There is also a hallmark sign that we might see with a basal cell lesion. Do you remember what that is? So with a basal cell carcinoma lesion, we can also see those visible blood vessels, and this is called telangiectasia. It can be hard to differentiate the different types of skin cancer, but one thing that helps me keep this one straight is to think of all the Bs. So I think of the B in basal cell carcinoma and the following characteristics. I think of bump or raised, blood vessels, and I also think of the word big because this is the biggest or the most common type of skin cancer. While basal cell is the most common type of skin cancer, it does not cause the most deaths. Can you think of the type of skin cancer that is the most deadly? That will be malignant melanoma. So what do we know about malignant melanoma? This type of skin cancer can occur anywhere on the skin, including areas that are not as common, such as underneath the fingernails. It is important while doing physical exams to watch for any moles with an irregular shape or color. This is an essential piece of patient education as well. What do we tell patients to watch for when they do their own skin assessments at home? That's where we teach them the A, B, C, D, E's, right? So just a quick refresher on what that stands for. We've got asymmetry, borders, color, diameter, or evolving or evolution. One thing that works in our favor for malignant melanoma or any other type of skin cancer is that we can often take care of this issue by removal if we catch it early. It is important that we complete thorough assessments so we can recognize concerning lesions when they occur. If you are interested in learning more about skin cancers or other skin related topics, please check out our review courses. We also have a free community of students who are preparing for exams that you can check out and our Facebook group is linked in the description. And here are the references used for this video. We can make a big difference in outcomes by educating patients on prevention, performing thorough exams, knowing what to watch for, and taking the proper steps after a skin cancer has been diagnosed. These actions may seem simple, but simple things can make a huge difference in these cases. Thank you so much for joining us at SMMP Reviews YouTube channel. Make sure to su subscribe so you can stay up to date on our new videos. With the right preparation, you can definitely pass your boards. We are always rooting for you.